Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press and today Toyota showed us another teaser photo and a video about the 2022 Toyota Tundra. This time they showed us the interior of the Tundra, specifically looking at the ceiling and the roof of the Tundra, which indicate that we're going to get a very large panoramic moonroof that opens all the way. And they also show us the rolling rear window, which is a proof and evidence that that particular favorite feature is going to carry over into 2022 Tundra. Now both of those things, the panoramic uh, moonroof and the rolling rear window was something that I've already previewed and uh, something that I talked about a number of weeks ago in one of my videos, but it's good to get that confirmation officially from Toyota that both of those things will be part of the new Tundra lineup. Now as usual, as a certified automotive engineer, I look at things a little bit differently from everyone else. So everyone talked about this new teaser photo and the video today. However, they missed a few things. My engineering background allowed me to look into that photo and video a little bit more carefully, investigate one or two more steps beyond the normal things, and I was able to discover a few more insights that I want to share with you that no one else have noticed. So let me walk you through what else I've discovered from that short video clip that will give you additional information about the 2022 Toyota Tundra. And one more bonus point, please stay with me until toward the end where I will show you my latest rendering of the 2022 Toyota Tundra, which is going to be the trail edition of the Tundra, which will look a bit different than all of the other rendering and images I have been showing to you. So I will talk about the insight about the interior that I discovered, and I will show you what the 2022 Toyota Tundra trail edition looks like. So let's stay with me and let me walk you through some of those details. This is the actual press release from Toyota USA that talks about the 2022 Toyota Tundra and its new interior features which include the panoramic moonroof and the opening rear window. So everyone has been talking about those two things but there are quite a few interesting insights I was able to figure out from this photo and the short video clip that Toyota has shown. So let me walk you through and point out to you some other interesting insight from these images. So first of all, I want to confirm that this interior is the 2022 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. It's not of any other variations because this clearly matches the interior of the sneak photo that Toyota has shown already, which was the TRD Pro. Now I've already pointed this out before, but there is a red colored seat belt front and back, but this isn't just about the red color. It also means that it's a color matching seat belt. So if we end up with a dark brown interior as an option, then these seat belts will also be dark brown. Uh, and we can't see in this photo, but there is a grab handles in both of the A pillars on the left and the right side. But seat belts aside, there are other interesting things I've discovered about this image. Not just about the panoramic moonroof, but could this be the new Stargaze moonroof, as well as exactly what's happening on the ceiling. Is it a speaker or is it a microphone? And what about the stitching on the actual seat? Exactly what kind of stitching is that? And why is it different than the kind of standard Toyota stitching? Uh, I'm going to also point out some other stuff, such as the material of the headliner and then the little light that you see at the very end and not just about the rolling sliding rear window but the fact that the rear headsets are much larger than in normal Toyota trucks. But let me come back to the main attraction which is this large panoramic moonroof that Toyota is showcasing in this new teaser photo and the video. Because there's something quite interesting about this and that is there isn't kind of second layer covering that is typically available in this type of panoramic moonroof. Usually in addition to the fact that uh, the moonroof actually opens of course toward the rear, there is something that can be uh, moved forward that covers the entire ceiling so that you don't get the sun beating your head all the time. 
But if I put my engineer's hat and take a look carefully, I don't see any slot or space available for this sliding opaque material that can move forward and cover the entire roof. So that brings up an important question. Could this be the new electrochromatic stargaze type roof that is currently used in the Toyota Venza? So how the stargaze works is very simple. You just push a button which then changes the muru from transparent to frosted mode which reduces direct sunlight and allow more of the kind of airy feel uh, without having the sunlight directly hitting your head. Now in the Venza, it's a fixed panoramic stargate system. It doesn't actually move. So if in the Tundra, this is the electrochromatic glass technology, but the actual roof opens up, it'll be the first time of such application in a new Toyota. Now let me continue to point out a few other things in the teaser photo. There is two little grill that is embedded in the ceiling. A lot of people have been saying that these are part of the JBL speaker system, but it does not make any sense because first of all, they're too small to be part of a speaker system. And also they are located right above the driver and the passenger's head. So these are actually what we call the array microphones. So these are microphones similar to what they use in Alexa system and is designed to first of all be close to your mouth because it's right above your head so that they can pick up your voice better for Bluetooth phone but also so that the system can receive your instruction because the new Toyota software allows you to ask for things just like in Alexa or Siri and say hey Toyota lower the temperature or hey Toyota do this or do that so in order to, for these things to happen you have to have a pretty accurate microphone location and you have to have them for both the driver and passenger side so I think these are actually microphones and not speakers Next, I was looking at the headset, so I paused the video and took a close look at the stitching and I noticed that this is what we call the deviated stitching in much the similar way as what we see in the expensive Porsche or European brands where the stitching is uh, of different color than the normal stitching. So there is a little bit of a normal stitching on the inside part here, but there is this colored, uh, in this case, a white colored stitching on the external side to indicate that this is kind of like a high class or European design. Now take a look at the driver's side headset up close and not only the white stitching is there but you can see this kind of quilted design of the leather where they bunch up the leather to give that kind of extra flavor or character and this again is usually only on the very expensive European or luxury vehicles so really rare to see that. Uh, now what about this kind of circular design looks like a separate piece from the rest of the headset uh, this is a little bit unusual also uh, indicating that maybe behind this there could be an infotainment system for the rear passenger I'm a little bit doubtful about this but this headset design is a bit unusual it's not your normal design and the fact that it's separated from the front piece of the headset to the rear tells me that maybe there is some electronics behind this for the purpose of having the optional infotainment system in the back in much the same way you see in the very high-end cars and models. Now moving on to the rear of the truck, we have the sliding rear window, which is something that we all wanted to keep for the new Tundra, so we're really happy to see that happen. Uh, but one thing I've noticed is that I compare the speed of the current Tundra's rear window rolling down to the new one from the image, and what I've noticed is that uh, the new 2022 Tundra's rear window moves down at about 10% faster speed. Now this obviously assumes that the short video clip from Toyota is being shown at real actual speed. So a little hard to tell, but it does look like it's a little bit faster. Uh, now moving on to the rear headset. These are clearly bigger than what we normally have in Toyota trucks. Uh, it's almost like one of those Range Rover or Land Rover headset because sometimes in the very expensive SUVs from a European background, they have a really large headset in the back both for safety and also for aesthetic reasons. The third headset for the third passenger in the rear, of course, is of the small type. But take a look at now the ceiling in the rear. There is uh, this little uh, console here that has a light. And most people might just assume that's the normal map lights. But actually, this light is on all the time. And so I think this is the actually part of the ambient lighting system that's often offered in luxury vehicles 
where you can change the interior lighting from blue or red or even pink. By the way, you'll notice that the rear sliding window is tinted, which is the case with the current Tundra as well. And it does have the uh, electric defroster in the back, which is always good to have in the sort of cold or winter conditions. I've also noticed this small grill in the rear, which could be either another microphone for a rear passenger, which I doubt that very much, or it could just be access point to access the panel uh, on the ceiling for servicing. Now, if you look at the, uh, the actual material used in the headliner, this is a little bit different from normal Toyota headliner. Now, it's hard to tell, of course, with this kind of fuzzy photo, but it has a bit of a kind of velvet or velvety feel. Uh, it's not Alcantara for sure, but it's definitely of higher quality than what you normally see in Toyota truck. I'm just taking a look at my Tacoma and I was taking a look at other Tundra trucks and it does not have that kind of soft uh, velvety look and feel and so it's different than what I normally see in a 2021 Tundra. Also in the overhead console there is a little switch you can press to get emergency help. So this is part of the Toyota connected system and it's on almost every Toyota model so that's going to be part of the new Tundra as well. And there's a switch here obviously to turn on and off some of the interior lighting and then there's a left and the right side or driver and passenger side map lights on the overhead console. Uh, this is a switch for the moonroof or the panoramic moonroof and again there isn't another switch for the covering. So I'm still convinced that there might be something a little bit special about uh, panoramic roof. It could be the stargate system. I'm not sure about this one here with uh, kind of a yellow symbol. It kind of looks like a warning sign. It doesn't look like a switch to me. Uh, but this is only one I'm puzzled. Not quite sure what this does or if it's just an indicator of some kind of a warning. So as you can tell, I noticed several additional things that no one else seems to have noticed from this teaser video. But regardless, we're just excited to see another image of the 2022 Tundra. And we are another one step closer to the final public reveal. So here it is though, as a bonus, I promised to show you something at the very end. This is my rendering or my image that I created for the 2022 Toyota Tundra, but in the trail edition. Uh, traditionally speaking, the trail edition has a slightly different look and feel from the TRD off-road or any other models within the Tundra lineup. And oftentimes the grill is different from other Tundra as well. So I've placed a slightly different design grill in a kind of darker gray. And I added more of a Tacoma look and feel on the lower bumper, which I kind of like on this particular image. I changed the wheel so that it's closer to the other trail editions that you see from Tacoma lineup or Tundra lineup. And I made sure that it was a dark wheel, which is again often the case with trail. We don't know exactly what all the different variations that Toyota will show for the Tundra, but I think the trail edition, if it does become available for 2022, will look very close to this. So that's all I have for now. It's been a long video for thank you so much for your patience and for watching my video again. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will continue to bring you different insights as an automotive engineer. I'm signing off for now. Thank you again.